Welcome to Police 10 8 Talk. I'm Joel. Uh, we're back at the workbench. It's hot and rainy out, so Sunday is not a gun day for us today. I uh, had a couple of requests to spend a few minutes going over the latest reincarnation of my duty belt. Those of you guys that wear duty belts, you, you, you know it's kind of a evolving process. I've now finished 19 years in law enforcement and this is where my belt's out now so we'll start over here with the uh, Austrian Alpine aluminum buckle that I got from Savvy Sniper to replace the crap plastic buckle that was on it uh, guys for $25 huge improvement positive lock it can't come undone when you depress one side like the plastic ones do so moving on around I've got my Safari Land triple magazine pouch moving on around further got just a generic Bianchi uh, holder for my OC spray uh, been uh, having a little issue with uh, the holster pushing on my hip for the last 19 years so I've changed my holster arrangement a little bit I've gone to a safari I, I left my beloved Blackhawk holsters uh, went to the 7360 it's one of the 7TS series it is SLS ALS on this one As you can see, I've used the Safari Multiflex adapter. I've got the 6004 uh, small, this is the small shroud. And as you can see, I've attached the QLS system to the drop, to the, uh, to the leg shroud. And also have it on the back of the holster so I can just take it on and off if I needed to move it to a different platform. Uh, I also have a uh, 1110 tourniquet holder mounted on the leg shroud and it is also mounted on a QLS as well. I've gone to carrying just a tourniquet holder because I was running out of real estate and couldn't uh, really keep the small trauma kit on here. Moving on around, we just have a small high speed gear taco pouch that I carry my multi tool in. Moving on around, just got a generic glove pouch. I've got uh, six or eight pair of uh, nitrile gloves in there. Moving on around, if you watch any of our videos, you notice we did a video on this tech radio holder clip. Uh, <laughs> super thing, really cuts down on the weight on your belt, holds the radio in higher and tighter to your body where you're not banging it every time you walk past it. And this is the Surefire uh, V70Z flashlight holder. It's currently holding my uh, four sevens Maelstrom. Uh, I think it's like 900 or 954 lumens, and then it cuts back to 700 lumens. And then whipping on around it because I've never been one to wear the handcuffs and the small on my back. I have a uh, just a generic Uncle Mike's double magazine um, I'm sorry double handcuff carrier here it's not in the ideal position I would like it to be but I had to mount my taser X2 further forward because I'll be honest with you I don't have the flexibility to go especially with my vest on to go all the way to the side for the draw so I had to put my X2 taser towards the front and shift my handcuffs back 
Uh, so guys, that's just a kind of quick look at the evolution of where my duty belt is now. I don't expect it to be changing anytime soon since I'm contemplating making the big move after 19 years. This is just where it's at based on experience and some naggly little injuries that won't go away. So guys, be sure you give us a like or subscribe on YouTube. You can follow us on Instagram. We're also on uh, gunpowder.com as well as gunpowder.tv as well. So check us out. Follow us on uh, Instagram. And uh, thanks for viewing and uh, be safe.